All right, the court is calling 2022-CR-3498A and 2022-CR-3500, State of Texas versus Petra Calderon. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Marcus Sanders. For the defense? Ron Ross. And are you Ms. Calderon? Yes, I'm. And each of the cause numbers, the defendant entered a plea of guilty. According to the plea bargain agreement in each of the cases, uh, punishment is to be assessed at a cap of 25 years in the prison. There are no applications and there are several cases to be taken into consideration. Have both parties had a chance to review the PSI report? We have a judge. Any objection? No objection. Defense, any objection? No, no objection. Judge, sorry, that was from the defense. State, any objection? No objection, Judge. Any witnesses to uh, state? We do, Judge. All um, right. How many witnesses do you have? One. All right. Defense, do you have any witnesses? No, we do not. All right, state, call your witness. State, call Cynthia Mars. Come forward, please. Can you raise your right hand? Yes, ma'am. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand. Uh, state your name for the record. Cynthia Mars. All right, uh, state. Thank you, Judge. Uh, Cynthia, we were here about a month ago for the co-defendant case, right? Bill yes, Washington. sir. Um, can you just... Refresh the court, I guess. What do you do for them? I work home health care. Um, I actually talked to the other company today for my third lady. I take care of a 91 year old. I do home health care. I take care of people and to get one out. And this is the mastermind. She tried to blame it on him, but this is the mastermind. Okay. Why do you say she was a mastermind? She walked in my door. I was sitting on my chair and she said, Do you remember me? Do you remember me? And, yeah, excuse know. me time out there is to be no talking in the jury box when we're on the record everyone needs to remember that the court reporter cannot hear everyone else needs to be quiet the court reporter cannot hear you may continue you said she was a mastermind yes um how did you did you know her from before no what do you do in your free time you volunteer anywhere I, I was working at Tra I usually work at Travis Street Park Church. I mean, um, I don't know San Antonio that well, but uh, it's Travis. I worked in the laundry helping the homeless. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And was that how they were able to to, to determine yes. who she was? Yeah. Um, how has this all come to play? I, I keep feeling like she's gonna come back, even though they locked him up. I've never had a gun pulled on me. And it shouldn't have happened. I were I try to help people. I feel like she's coming back. Why does she do this to me? All right, we'll pass the witness. Um, Defense. Just a question or two. There was this lady and uh, and Lil. Yes. Lil you say she's the mastermind. Yes. The, the male is the one that had the gun, though, correct? She went back downstairs and got it. She came up first, and she said, "They called me. Excuse me." It's kind of ghetto. Medusa, do you remember me from San Pedro? I, I cook, and most people know me by that name. So I thought I knew her, just as one of the random people. She was the one that came up first, not him. But he was the one to pull the gun. She said she forgot her cell phone, and she came up with him. He had a mask on like the one she got on right now. And he had the gun, correct? He had the gun. But... Hey, I'm gonna say they took everything, but she should have never. I don't know you. Why'd you do yeah, this? I understand, I understand. It's a, it's a no sofa. It's a, it was a couple. I mean, say like Bonnie and Clyde type deal, and she tried to blame everything on him. All right, state. No further questions, Judge. All right, thank you. All right, uh, the court will hear argument. State. Your Honor, we are asking for 25 years. Um, the co-defendant, Philip Washington, was sentenced to 22 years. Um, he played an equal role in this offense, um, but as the witness said, she was the one who initiated, she gained the victim's trust in both situations. Um, and so that the co-defendant could come back in and rob these victims. In this particular situation, if you remember the, the facts, um, they actually made this victim undress so that they could confirm that she they were taking everything that she had um 
Additionally, she has more cases that are being taken into consideration. There are a couple of robberies that she committed without the co-defendant. Um, and so we believe the 25 would be appropriate compared to the 22 that the co-defendant was in the student. All right, thanks. Uh, Judge, I don't have a lot to offer except that I think that some of these that being taken into consideration, the co-defendant was involved in those also, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, she has no, she has she has one prior felony case. She went to my office and didn't successfully do that. But going to my office tells me that she's got some either drug or mental health problems. Uh, and I think the indications are they were on drugs and alcohol at the time of these offenses. But she doesn't have a, a good education. I would ask you to give her at least no more than the code of them. I think that in this lady's mind, she's the mastermind, but the code of had the weapon. So I would ask at least to be no more than what you uh, assess him. All right, Ms. Calderon, is there anything you wish to say? No. I think you may have taken an opportunity. Like, oh, you want to raise your right hand if you want to testify? Can you? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Why are you stealing for, from people instead of getting a job and earning your money like everyone else does? I was in an abusive relationship. I had to do what he said. If not, he was in the. Oh, no, no, no. Here's the thing. You're talking very quickly. My question is, and you need to talk where I can understand you. Why don't you get a regular job like everyone else has? I was in an abusive relationship. All right. Is that all you wish to say? I can get a job and um, I take medication and I get a check, a stability check, with all kinds of medication. So I don't know. Like, I was in a busy relationship. That's it. All right. And each of the cause numbers, the court uh, has previously found you guilty. The court will sentence you to 25 years in the prison. There's an affirmative finding of deadly weapon in each cause numbers. And and cause number 2022CR3498A, that is to count two. Uh, the court will take in consideration 2022CR3333, 2022CR3499A, 2022CR3873A, 2022CR3332, county court cause number 677261. Grand jury number seven seven five four two nine. There's to be no contact with Jose Garcia, Cassandra Acosta, Cynthia Morris, Kenneth Henry, and Jorge Palmeras. In each of the cause numbers, I'm showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review those documents with your attorney? Did you understand them and did you sign them? Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Because this is felony convictions, and these are these cause numbers, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, Ms. Calderon, good luck to you. There's one more thing. The sentence is going to be current. Oh, yes. The sentence is already run concurrent. All right, thank you. Let's get the facts straight. She loves a verbal ashtray. Never blowing smoke when she gets pissed. She's quick to castrate. Love her on a good day. Love her on a bad day. Either way, she's here to stay, stay, stay.